Hey everyone, welcome back to Stories from the Internet. This video, of course, is about Foodie Beauty. So, she is still in a lot of hot water. People are still angry that she is still seeing Natter and it is confirmed. 15 hours ago, at the time of this recording, she said this. Since jealous haters want to dry and destroy my life, lowering up babies, it is coming, dot, dot, dot. Just like you didn't think Cuba would happen. They took down my Patreon and instead of fighting it, you will be able to catch so much upcoming content protected by copyright on the Beezer Show's Patreon. I have exclusive access to these company announcements, as you know, so details to follow suit. Also, I will continue to do content and live my happy life with whatever decisions I make in it, hashtag same ad. Six hours ago at the time of this recording, she said karaoke tonight, Beezer. So she did come back for karaoke, but this happened. Thanks, shout outs to the farms. We have ADHD for hooking me up, or should I say us up, with the archives. I did watch these. COVID karaoke April 8th, 2022 was only about 20 seconds long. Then we had COVID karaoke part 2, which means part 2, April 8th, 2022, 27 minutes and 55 seconds. So these have been deleted by Foodie Beauty because she didn't accept what she was doing was wrong. And in fact, it seems Foodie Beauty has COVID or is just trying to act as if she does now. A lot of people are saying this. Why why would she do this? Why would she act as if she has COVID? Well, that's because she was caught with Natter. Simple as that. And she wants to use COVID as a tool of pity. She wants you, as well as I, to be sorry for her. She wants you, as well as I, to not be pissed and distract from the issue at hand which is her seeing a guy she's not supposed to her seeing at her when she's not supposed to is in fact a big deal if what we think is true which she has a protective order restraining order or he has some sort of condition that does not allow him to contact or be around her then this is in fact a big deal so did the COVID distraction work? Well, it depends. I'm sure some people feel sorry for her, but other people are still pissed. DV is a serious issue and many have expressed their frustration that she is taking such situations lightly. And here's the thing about COVID. Funny how she made sure to get a COVID test coincidentally in the middle of drama when she had COVID-like symptoms before. Remember that? And she repeatedly was told to get a COVID test and she kept refusing. In fact, if you remember clearly, what she did was Pennington's bees go and pick up weed and everything else in between and then isolated for a few days. But remember what I said. I said what she was really doing, allegedly, is bees in during the day. Then she would come on in the evening and at nighttime as if she was home the entire time. Now, I can't corroborate this, but it's just my feeling. Because if you look back through the archives, she was just on in the evening time repeatedly. For a person who loves attention and can't be away from her peoples if she is isolating it just doesn't make any sense that she would not be on during the middle of the day as well as even time as well as night time practically 24 7. and then at the time of course she tested negative and then was smug beauty all about it plus she had pete's Pete's was there. And you remember what I keep saying about Pete's. Whenever Pete's is around, she uses him for support. And she also uses him as sort of a deflection. And people were pissed. Yes, 
and Pete's was being used as that tool of deflection. And she has done this many times and she will continue to do it. Pete's is literally just another distraction to the issue at hand. So I brought up in my last live stream certain things, certain serious things, because if she's doing what she's doing, she's literally spit in in the face of a lot of victims. This is not cool. This is not OK. This is not right. It's wrong. If you want to see Natter, then she shouldn't have gone through with what she did. I'm not even sure whatever charges he's allegedly on um, did happen or didn't happen. I won't speak to that as I usually have said in the past. But why would he put himself at risk and why is she putting herself at risk when they both know they need to stay away from each other? This is slapping people that have been through very serious and life-threatening situations in the face. And it literally needs to stop. Anyways, as I've said, Paper is still pissed. She deleted both those live streams. They have been removed by the uploader. And I'm not even sure if she's going to rage. Maybe it's, it's plausible. Is it probable? Yeah. Or she might try as much not to until people keep pushing the topic or topics at hand as in why is she continually seeing this man when she knows she's not supposed to anyways that's it for me leave me a like leave me a comment subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you later take care bye bye